hello guys i am back still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics and outside okay so i have this um quick video clip or uh, just as you have seen uh on your screen that um mali and burkina faso have deployed um, of course it is no longer news we heard about that um had deployed warplane in niger after ECOWAS threat um on august 19. All right. So uh, following the threat of uh, military action by uh, ECOWAS, Burkina Faso and Mali have deployed fighter jets to Niger uh, Republic. And uh, they also warned that any military intervention in Niger uh, would be considered a declaration of war against them. Remember, ECOWAS had threatened to declare war on Niger Republic if the junta failed to reinstate the democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazou. But however, both governments said any military intervention in the day uh, would destabilize the region, all right? And then, the, just as you have seen on your screen, so far, so good. Uh, they have, um, you know, bringing the boat tanks and other, um, you know, equipment to Niger Republic ahead of ECOWAS Strait, uh, in Niger Republic. I mean, I really do not see why, because of um, foreign, the, you know, pressure, um, the ECOWAS will be sending some young men to go and, um, you know, personally die for what uh, they really know nothing or less or they know less of what is really going on. Because I really do not see why people will leave the problem in their country and be thinking of of fighting a war that really do not concern them. The people of Niger Republic, of course, you have seen the chair from the uh, citizen. They are okay, comfortable, because the government had pushed them to the wall. You understand? They are okay, they are comfortable with what the development so far so good. And you are leaving the problem of your country to fight uh, a, a war or to engage yourself in what really do not concern you. And now, if eventually this, uh, this uh, fracas breaks out, imagine people, young men, they will be losing their life. Uh, those are, most of those men, they have family to take care of. Most of them, they have children. Most of them, people are depending on them. And now you want to send them uh, to a war zone for them to lose their life for what they really do not know about. It doesn't make sense at all. Now, West Africa is already fighting terrorist, um, you know, attacks and whatsoever, bandit, terrorists. And now you want to, the military already is overstretched. So far, they are, they are overstretched. And now you want to, you know, send others to go and engage themselves in what they really do not know uh, anything about. It will give room, to be frank, it will give room uh, for terrorists, it will give room for bandits to engage in, it will, it, it's, there is a very grave consequence in this action, if only it breaks out. Niger said, okay, they will hold on to power for three years and then return it back to a civilian rule. ECOWA says they are not comfortable with it. That means they are set and ready to engage the, 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 the junta in Niger, meaning they want to go and start a war when the military already is overstretched. Seriously, it will give room to uh, terrorists to carry out. Seriously, there is a grave consequence. Personally, my own opinion, I think uh, the Ecowas should think twice on this. They should not, uh, they, they should not be used by the West to fight a proxy war within their own brothers. They should not be used. They should think twice. Not to allow the West to uh, allow them to, you know, engage their brothers in a proxy war because they are the ones that will benefit from it. You understand? All right, guys, I quickly want to update you on this. Uh, you can see the cheer from the Nigerians there. Uh, you can see uh, they are happy. Mali, Burkina Faso, solidarity. They are in support of Niger. And now you want to bring some military people from ECOWAS region to go and lose their life for what they know nothing about.
all right guys let me know what you guys think